good morning once again, my dear Matayom 3 students. How are you today? I hope that you're doing good. Now, today we're going to continue our lesson about graph of the quadratic function or about the parabola. Now, for this time, we're going to figure out uh, the vertex. Okay? We're going to figure out, we're going to find the vertex of a quadratic function. Okay, and we're going to present that into a graph. Okay, so again, the best thing that you can figure out the, the vertex of such a quadratic function, then we're going to change like the standard form into a vertex form uh, formula of the parabola or the uh, function. We're going to change that into a vertex form. So as you can see here in our first slide, for the vertex form, so we know that the vertex form HK, this is the vertex form of the quadratic function. We have here y plus 2a times x minus h power 2 plus k, wherein that a must not be equal to 0, okay? So this is the vertex form of the quadratic function. So you will see here the h and the k. So if the this will be negative minus h, Therefore, the value of h here or the x value, x coordinate, is positive. And again, for this one is positive already, k is also positive. Okay, but if this is positive, this plus h, then the value of x or the h is negative. And if this is negative, this will be also a negative k or negative y. Na? Okay, my? So we start. So we have here our first quadratic function. We have y is equal to 3x power 2 plus 12x minus 15. Okay, so we have here, we have this, our quadratic function. Now, for this one, we're going to apply completing the square. Na? We're going to apply completing the square so that we can figure out the vertex of this quadratic function. Okay, now take a look at this. So uh, using the first, uh, the leading term and the second term, this one, Okay, so we're going to uh, complete the square of these two terms. We're going to complete the square of these two terms. Now, since that we have here uh, more than one leading coefficient of three, we're going to factor out that first. Okay, so we have there three times x power two is three x power two, and three times four x is 12 x, right? Then minus 15. Okay, as you can see in this form of our uh, equation or function, this is similar already to this one. They're similar, right? Okay, but not yet complete. Okay, so we're going to make this in this part here, this term here to be complete square. <laughs> How we can do that? So looking at the second term, this one for x, we're going to divide this into two. Okay, so that would be four divided by two is two. And we're going to add that with a square to complete the square of this term. Na? Okay, my. So that would be 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we add that with a square. And we add that as well with the same value. You see this one? Because this will be 3, right? Okay. So we have, we added here 3 and 4. So 3 times 4. So as well, we're going to add a negative 3 and 4, 12. Na? So that it will be balanced. Because if, we're, if we will not add here a negative 12, then it's not balanced. We just add here a 12, but we're, uh, we're not going to add here a negative. So we need to add a negative value so that will be balanced. Okay? So we have also here negative 12. And here now, this one is a perfect square. We have x squared plus 4x plus 2 power 2 is a perfect square. Or we can write that. We have here the first term and the second term is 2. We have x plus 2 with a power 2. Since that is all plus, then we have here a plus the power 2. Okay? So this is now perfect square. And they're similar with this one. They're equal. So this equation now is equal to this. Is that's the same, not equal, but the same. Okay? So a here is 3. We have x. We have the plus 2. We have here a minus h, right? The power 2 and minus 27. Okay, so therefore we can say our vertex 
for this uh, quadratic function for the parabola is look at the value here. Our original value is a negative minus then h that will give you a positive x or h. But here we have a positive, so it means that our x here is a minus. So we have here a minus 2, okay? And we have here a plus x. So we have plus positive a, but here we have a negative, so definitely we have a negative as well, negative 27. Nah? So therefore, our vertex for this parabola is negative 2, negative 27. And looking, looking at this uh, graph here, remember our uh, leading coefficient or this one, or the value of 3 here is a positive, right? It's a positive. So therefore, our parabola is opening upward because our leading coefficient, our uh, value of the A here is a positive. So it will open upward. Okay, my question. No question, sure, my. Okay, next. Oops. This one. So we have here y is equal to x power 2 minus 2x minus 5. Na? Okay, next is uh, we're going to make this a perfect square, x power 2 minus 2x. Okay. Now, again, remember that we don't have here a leading coefficient that is more than 1. So uh, no need to factor out. So we can directly complete the square of these two terms, okay? So again, looking at the second term, we have here 2. We divide it by 2. So that would be 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we are going to add here 1 with the power 2, okay, or 1. And again, similarly, we're going to add here a negative 1 as well so that it will be balanced, right? Okay. Now, this is already a perfect square x power 2 minus 2x plus 1 power 2 is a perfect square. So since that we have here a minus here, we have also a minus. We have here the first term x and the second term 1. Okay, so x minus 1 power 2. We combine this, we have minus 6. Okay, my. Okay, so therefore our uh, vertex for this uh, quadratic function, we have a minus, okay, the same. So this will be a positive 1. Okay, we have a positive 1. And we have here a minus 6, so meaning say we have a minus 6 as well. Okay? Now, look at our uh, leading coefficient here. We have positive, right? It's a positive. So therefore, our parabola is opening upward. It's opening upward. We have a 1 and minus 6. Okay? Question? No, share mine. Okay, we have here our third example. 1. We have here uh, the function y plus 3x power 2 plus 12x. Yeah. So we have here, we don't have here a constant. So this is similar to what we have in the first uh, example, but we don't have here uh, the constant number. So the same with, we're going to factor out first. We have here three, factor out so that we have here this one. Okay. So you have 3x power 2, we have this one, and 3 times 4 is 12x. Yeah. Okay. So looking back at the 4x, we're going to divide this by 2. That would be 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then we get the power 2 with that. And again, add a negative value. Negative 3 times 4, 12, so that it will be balanced. Now, don't forget to add a negative value so that it will be balanced. Nah? Okay, so we go back here. So this will be pa, uh, perfect, you know, perfect square already. So we have here x plus 2 power 2. And we, come, uh, we multiply this with negative 12, right? Okay, so therefore, we have here the vertex for this um, quadratic function. We have a negative, but we have a positive 2 here, so that would be negative 2. And we have here a positive k, but we have a negative 12 or negative 12 as well. Okay, my, and you see, this is a positive, right? The value of a here is a positive. Therefore, our parabola is opening up one. Question. The question, my, no, share, my. Okay, so if you don't have any question, that's all for today, and we'll continue more about quadratic function in the next meeting. So see you. Bye-bye.